you know, I had to speak to some, some folks and, you know, people are concerned. People are concerned. And this is the, 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 the recurring thing that comes up when I talk to different folks. They always have this issue. They say, are you, uh, uh, like the same thing Steve said, like, I, I'm just going to be the mayor of black people. I had a conversation with a, a lawyer that said that. I had a conversation with somebody else. I had a conversation with a, a whole group of lawyers. They said the same thing. Young African Americans, they 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 concerned about that because that's what their friends and everybody said. Are you just going to be the mayor of black people? Which is which is a strange kind of thing to me, right? I mean, because they don't see me. One day, not at the school, and they don't see me have a, a, a an array of different nationalities at the school, both children and adults. But they they say, are you going to be the mayor of, of black people? And there's two things that I really that really bothers me about that. Right? One, nobody ever asks anybody else are they going to be the mayor of these kinds of people. Right? Right. Right. So nobody asks Mayor Cox if he's going to be the mayor of white people. Come on, right? yeah. Nobody <laughs> asks, no, like they, they don't ask that, they ask that of me. And it's only, and it's one reason they really ask that of me because I really represent you. Right? Right. And so they are afraid, so, so they, they are afraid that, and the folks are afraid that when I come in, it means that I'm going to treat people the way people treated me. That's what they're afraid of. But that's not true. We, we, we want equity and what's fair for the entire city. That's what we want. Is, is that right? Right, right? When people see us, they think that we, we only want to take care of our family. We want to take care of everybody's family. But we don't want to ignore our family in an effort to take care of other people's family. Right, right. right. And they, when a lady comes up, she says, put your mask on first. And then put the mask on the other person. Does she say that? Because if you don't have your mask on, then you can't help your neighbor. Right? Because you, you might kill yourself in an effort to save somebody else. And all of this time, in this neighborhood, in this city, we've been killing ourselves. Come on to support other people's agenda around the city, this county, and the state. Your child is dead on Clinton Avenue and Chadwick in a pool of blood. And you, everywhere else, advocating for other people's issues and other people's ideas. Your son can't even get a damn job in the city of his birth. And he, got, he, he went to school, he did everything right, and he's still unemployed. Yes. And they hire everybody else that don't live around here, and you are cool with that. And you are cool with that. So, yeah, I am going to be the mayor of everybody in this city. You better believe it. I'm going to be the mayor of everybody in the city, but I'm most certainly going to take care of my family. Don't back down. You be nice. You do what you're supposed to do. And I, I want you, I want you to understand that we want justice. Like that's all we want: freedom, justice, and equality. That's what we want. And and, and that and, and, and that is universal. Those principles have no color on them. They have no nationality on them. They have no language on them. Those are universal principles. Truth is a universal principle. Truth exists in all countries on the in, on, on the planet. It exists in all languages. It doesn't matter what food you eat. Where you go to school, it doesn't matter the clothes you wear, whether you wear hoodies or sunglasses or three-piece suits. Truth is truth. Principles are universal. We believe in universal principles. We believe in justice for everybody. It's justice for everybody or justice for nobody. That's what it says. We believe in that. It belongs to everybody. It isn't just a black people's thing that we want freedom. Everybody deserves freedom, right? Everybody deserves justice. Everybody deserves equality. So those are universal principles. The people who challenge us on that, they don't believe in those principles. They don't believe in them. They don't believe in freedom, justice, and equality. Or else they wouldn't be asking me those questions. Because they are afraid. They are afraid that they have done so much wrong. Yep, that's right. So much wrong that then when right shows up, they disappear. Because we know the book says, you know, uh, uh, truth, falsehood vanishes in the face of truth, and falsehood is a forever vanishing thing. So if you represent falsehood, and when the truth shows up, you're going to disappear. Right? So you are concerned with that. 
Let us not be concerned with that, y'all. Let us not be concerned.